In introducing this section, I would like to make just a couple of personal comments. I guess the first time I remembered seeing Clarice was on the streets of Memphis, Tennessee. That is, when I was old enough to remember much about it, I had met her when I was six years old at a birthday party. I don't remember too much about that party, but uh, when I was, uh, I guess, going into college, I met her one time with some other people in Memphis. And uh, something said to me at that time that she was a very special person and would be a special person in my life. And after about five years, she became my wife. I've often joked about her ability to play the piano, uh, but I assure you that she has far more talents than just her ability to play the piano. But I am sure those of you who have sat at Chapel Hill and who have been exposed to her ministry and music realize that it is indeed a gift of God. There are many people who play the piano, but there are few who minister with the piano. And Clarice has that unique ability of being able to minister unto the Lord and unto the hearts of those who worship with her ministry at the piano. And I feel we are very fortunate tonight to have her as a part of the ministry of this church. And all of the musical presentations that you have seen tonight really are a realization of her dreams. She faithfully across the last 23 years has worked, has labored, has prayed, has been faithful to bring together those musicians that would not only bring presentations that would be pleasant to the ear, but most importantly, bring forth worship and praise in song. Well, that's exactly what God intended. So it is with a great deal of pleasure and personal pride that I present to you tonight the Minister of Music and Minister of Fine Arts at Chapel Hill for the next series of songs, Clarice Paul. Thank you. 